Hi, this video is about the build and installation of a Diamond X300 2 meter and 70 cms antenna. It's 258 on 2 meters and 558 on 70 cms, and it's just under about 3 meters or 10 feet long. Uh, the Diamond specification shows this as having 6.5 dB gain on 2 meters and 9 on 70 cms, and these will be DBI figures, uh, so the actual DBD gain uh, will be 4.35 on 2 and 6.85 on 70 cms uh, clearly all subject to the antenna height and it being in clear space etc there are various versions of the x300 model uh, and this is the n-plug version and tuned for uk band plans uh, but clearly the uh, the style and uh, manufacture of the antenna is very similar across a range of these these similar models so these are the parts that make up the antenna and first impressions are that it's well made and robust and briefly reading through the instructions it's simply a case of joining the two halves of the antenna together uh, adding the three radials to the base uh, feeding the coax through the support pipe which attaches to the base and then connecting uh, the brackets to connect your support pipe to your to your mast or however you're going to mount it um, in addition to this standard build, I'm going to further protect and waterproof the joint that connects uh, the two halves together and the, uh, where the coax uh, feeds into the base. So the first step is to join the two elements of the antenna together. Uh, this is the bottom and this is the top. And there's two labels attached. Uh, one warning you not to pull the radiating element out of the base and the second one uh, guiding you to this uh, line to set the gasket holder so there's a collar uh, underneath there the silver gasket holder uh, and there's a rubber gasket and these two parts screw together to form uh, the waterproof seal uh, and inside the top element it's generally it's slid up to pull it out there's the connector uh, which fastens under here uh, so it's a case of joining that to that, setting that gasket holder to that line, uh, putting them together and tightening these two parts uh, with spanners as per the instructions. So we'll slide the gasket down to the stop line, it's just a rubber, a rubber gasket, take the gasket holder down to where the line was that's ready and now we have to connect on the radiating element so we just loosen off that screw make sure that's in tight That's very tight. There's room in the top element of that radiating element to slide right in. And tighten these up. And the instructions say to go right to the point where there's no gap. Now that's tight. Uh, so now I need two spanners just to nip that up finally. We couldn't find two adjustable spanners, so I've got one and uh, a pair of more grips. And there you go, that's sealed the joint up. Uh, and later on, after I've tested the antenna, uh, I'll be putting some self amalgamating tape on this and then sealing it again with uh, white electrician's tape so it blends in. So now it's a case of fitting the radials onto the base. Um, these just screw in and then lock off with these lock nuts. Um, check your parts when your antenna arrives. I was one nut short so I had to source one myself. Um, but basically, these screw in. And 
and then you tighten that lock nut down. Uh, funnily enough, I haven't got a spanner that small until I found the trusty bike spanner and that one just happens to fit that nut. So I'll slide it down the radial. And tighten up. And it's just a case of adding the other two. These are the two locking nuts for the uh, support pipe, uh, and there's the end plug socket. So I'll fit the other the other two radials now. So that's the three radials fitted. Uh, now a case of fitting the uh, coax end plug and the uh, support pipe. So the next job is to tighten the support tube onto the two brackets by tightening these screws, then feeding the coax up through the tube onto the base of the antenna. So I'll just tighten these up now and then connect that up. So you can see here, the support tube has the two holes for fixing onto the antenna base. So it's a case of attaching the, the end plug, or in your case it might be a PL259, depending on which model. And then attaching those two bolts onto there. But first I'm going to seal this with some self amalgamating tape just to give it that extra waterproofing. So this is the self amalgamating tape on the uh, on the middle joint uh, and then it just needs some uh, some white electrician's tape just to, to make it a bit more discreet and there with the uh, white electrician's tape uh, so it blends in with the rest of the antenna now to uh, seal the end plug and finally we have the uh, the end plug sealed uh, so it's just a case of uh, attaching the support pipe back onto the antenna uh, and then mount it and what I forgot to say was I tried the antenna on the lawn to check the SWR was okay and that it performed. Uh, that was prior to committing to the self amalgamating tape and sealing off with electrician's tape. So uh, just a, a quick test before uh, committing to installing on the roof. And just to confirm the antenna works fine with low SWR across both bands. I hope you find this video useful.